Hi everyone, I'm making a tray out of this cupboard door today. I took the door off this sideboard that I redesigned recently and I will link that video here in case you want to check it out. It was already missing one door from the bottom so I took a second one off and that's what we're going to be using today. So firstly I'll remove all of the metal hinges and hardware with a screwdriver. Once I've taken all of them off, I'm going to start setting up my circular saw. I'm still a tiny bit scared of this tool, to be honest. Um, so I can cut the extra lip off one side. So it's a bit more symmetrical now. Next, I'm taking some fine grade wood filler and working it into the holes where the hinges and hardware used to sit and also along the edge that I cut. After the filler was completely dry, I used 180 grit sandpaper on my detail sander to sand down the filler and give the rest of the surface a light scuff sand to prepare it for painting. Here I've just got a solution of sugar soap and water in my spray bottle to give it a good clean. Once it was clean and dry, it was time to paint. So I'm using the same colour for the base of the door as I did on its mother sideboard. It's a beautiful blue-black called Midnight Sky from Dixie Belle. Okay, time for the detail. This beautiful decoupage paper is from Designed by Priya. I'll link everything in the description box below. I'm using Mod Podge decoupage glue in matte finish and a decoupage brush to apply. Just cutting around the tricky edges with a sharp knife.
I'm applying a thick layer of glue underneath and then I'll work over the paper with a layer on top as well. Now just a heavily diluted brush over with the midnight sky colour to soften the edges, followed by clear wax on all of the painted areas. I am brushing and then buffing the wax quite vigorously just to slightly distress the areas around the decoupage. I just think these handles are so cute. I'm gonna use some frog tape to position the holes I need to drill so I can attach them. Once the handles are attached, that's it. So we'll take a quick look at where we came from. And now we have a really pretty recycled tray. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this video inspires you, gives you some ideas for your own projects. This is the second distressed effect I've done on a piece recently, so I would love to hear your opinions in the comments. Is it pretty and rustic or just a bit messy? Let me know what you think and see you next time.